So we're all getting hyped up for the new Vision Pro about to come out, but I would say forget about that and look towards the new Apple glasses. Today I want to cover over everything we know so far for the Apple glasses specs and features and of course give you the latest on the Apple glasses release date and price. So as we know, Apple have decided to dig deeper into AR technology as we saw at WWDC 2023. They unveiled the new Vision Pro and announced this as their first product to move them into the future. Even though we don't have our hands on it just yet, it looks like this is probably going to be the best AR device out there and Apple are really hoping that lots of developers will jump on board with them to make lots of apps for it. But what about the next AR? our product from Apple. Well, Apple are already working on the new Apple Glass project or the Apple Glasses, what is going to be the future of the Vision Pro. The great news is most likely it's going to be a bit cheaper than the Vision Pro as you will see later on in this video. But first, let's go over some of the specs and also some of the features of the Apple Glasses is going to give us and also talk about the release date too. For features, expect very similar abilities to what we've got with the Vision Pro. However, I'd actually say that some of the features that we actually have got in the Vision Pro would actually probably be taken away. So for example, VR capabilities that we're seeing inside the Vision Pro, this won't be coming to the actual Apple glasses. So for example, you won't be able to say sit in a virtual cinema and watch a Netflix videos. You won't be able to do this. What will more likely happen is that you'll be able to see actual sort of windows appearing over the top the overlay of your real world so that means you will be able to see say for example a video and also you'll be able to say watch say your macbook screen if you wanted to do that and other abilities too and also interact with your real world around you with ar abilities and in fact, we've even had confirmation of this with reports going really far back now. And you can see here, it says that we'd be able to operate AR functions, say, on a desk or even in the air. And also, we actually saw this being demoed with the Vision Pro. So this is definitely also coming to the Apple Glasses. Now, one thing that is straight away going to be different from the Vision Pro to, say, the Apple Glasses is the chipset inside it. As you can imagine, the Apple Glasses won't be able to, say, fit an M2 or an M3 chipset inside the frames. So it's more likely we're going to get a device that goes into our pocket that provides battery power and also the processing power too. But in fact, we actually have actually got a report here from Min Chi Kuo who says that it's more likely that it's actually going to run off our iPhone and use the battery of that and to be deadly honest in the way how the Apple A chip series is going at the moment and in a couple of years into the future then this is probably going to give us enough power to say power the brand new Apple glasses. Ming Chi Kuo has also informed us that with the Vision Pro that we're probably going to be getting an updated version of this first. So we're probably going to be getting a Pro version and also a light version. So this will be cheaper than the $3,500 price we have now before any Apple glasses. And this is completely understandable because obviously Apple do want to test the water to see if the Vision Pro is definitely going to be a product they'll want to invest into in the future. But at the end of the day, with Google, Snapdragon, and even Samsung actually partnering together to make a device too, I think Apple are going to be sticking it out for a while with their new Vision Pro technology. Also, the fact that we do have other people out there who are making AR glasses at the moment, like Enreal, for example, and even Xiaomi actually demoed some as well. So then, guys, what I just want to quickly talk to you about is the channel giveaway, what is happening on this channel right now. So I'm going to be giving wait this this here is a macbook air m2 and it's not just any ordinary macbook air m2 in fact it has some great upgrades i'm just looking at the specs here it's actually got 512 gigabytes storage inside of it and also at the same time it's been upgraded with 16 gigabytes of ram because as you know in 2024 8 gigabytes of RAM is not enough. And if you want to get your hands on the specced up MacBook Air, all you need to do is write down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're planning to get in 
2024 to enter into this giveaway. And also at the same time as well, it's an international giveaway. Make sure if you are brand new here that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because I'll be announcing when a live stream is going to be happening to reveal who the winner is of this MacBook Air and you won't want to miss out on that. So make sure you do that right now. Now again, I'm going to have to say this. Sadly, there's still loads of scammers, spammers, people impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp them, Telegram them, all sorts of things like this, and telling you to pay for shipping. This is not me. I'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway. So please do ignore them, or better still, as you can see here, please do report them. But for the actual prices of the Apple glasses, we've actually had a report from John Prozer a while back who said the glasses would actually cost about 500 US dollars. Now, I know John would actually probably look back at one of the, his videos for the price and probably maybe shave his eyebrows again and suggesting such a price. But in my own opinion, I don't think they're going to be, say, as expensive as $3,500 and I definitely don't think they're going to be as say as cheap as $500. In my own opinion, I think they're probably going to be around about $1,000 and you've got to hear me out here. At the end of the day, like I did point out, as Ming Chi Kuo said, that you'd actually be running the main processing power and also the battery from your iPhone. So this eliminates basically a whole computer straight away. Also, you don't have any of the VR abilities and also you don't have, say, that screen on the sort very front of the Vision Pro will also show sort of a replica of your eyes on that. All of that technology is being stripped away and this in return will make a lot of savings. And you've also got to remember that we do have actual sort of AR glasses right now, like the Nreal ones, what cost about $350 to buy. And at the end of the day, it is going to be more expensive than that, but you've got to understand it can't be too much more expensive than that because at the end of the day, there's not going to be many more features. Like I did say again, and I'll repeat myself, it will have less features than the Vision Pro because it will be more of an AR device. But one good thing that John did also mention in his report, and this is also the same for the Vision Pro now, is that there will be prescription lenses available for the Apple glasses. So anyone who's worried about that, you don't need to be. For the actual release date of the Apple glasses, we've heard multiple reports that the glasses are going to be in full swing and then they've had another report saying that they've been stopped indefinitely the whole project. Then we've had another one saying that they could be coming out in 2026 or 2027 at the earliest. I think as mentioned before, Apple really want to test out the Vision Pro to see if it's going to be successful and developers are going to jump on board. Also, what can competitors are also going to do before they actually push further into the Apple Glasses project. With this though, I definitely think that the earliest will be 2027, but I don't think we're going to see anything in 2024 or even 2025. But let me know your thoughts on the Apple Glasses too. Would you want a pair? And what would you do with them if they came out at a great price? let me know in the comments below. And on that note as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.